Welcome everyone to another episode of the Train Studio. I'm your host, Sean Morris. On the studio update uh, for the um, second part of the day here, uh, just some some little bit of uh, update information here. Um, I've gone ahead and just uh, applied the the mud, the AK Interactive, uh, sorry, the damp earth, not the not the fresh mud, um, here in the corner. Uh, so you can see what that coloration kind of looks like. I think I actually really like that uh, coloration, so I'm going to uh, extend that through the remainder of the patches that are around the water, and then just sort of use this as a little bit of a transition area um, as it moves over into the uh, section by the road. So as you can see, most of the uh, water has uh, since cleared off, and um, just have this one sort of murky patch here. Um, that's a little bit deeper, so uh, and I'm okay with that um, portion being like that, and the rest of it, as you can see, uh, this this material here is all dried up. Uh, the um, the uh, flex paste, uh, flex paste, uh, the um, Vallejo paste, and uh, that's on the other side is dried as well. So um, as mentioned, that uh, portion has been uh, covered last night, and then over here. Uh, this section is now uh, just drying up, and that will uh, marry up nicely at the other side of the bridge. Um, I spent a great deal of the day, a uh, great portion of the day, working on the uh, the fence. Uh, Dread was unable to uh, to get a fence um, uh, built for me, which is is perfectly fine. Uh, I rushed him getting the building done as is, so I really appreciate that. And uh, so I I said I would handle the fence on my end. Now I am no uh, scratch builder uh, like you know canvas or um, dread those guys are incredible with the work they do so um, I sort of just used my my fairly limited skills and and patched together um, sort of a slat board fence I guess it is and I kind of made it you know as damaged as I could I haven't done any painting yet but uh, I'll let the uh, results speak for themselves and then you guys can comment uh, uh, maybe some tips or tricks or you know likes or dislikes kind of other project so um, the bridge, uh, sorry, the fence itself is going to run right here and then right there. So it's just going to create that little bit of a courtyard uh, piece where the Canadians are going to be kind of sneaking up through that uh, that portion. So this is what the fence looks like here. Uh, so this is the large section. So I just went ahead and did as much detail as I thought. Uh, you know, the bottom of the boards chipped out and made some holes and you know, uh, cut some edges and put some bullet holes in, some broken sections and some, you know, shoddy patchwork. I actually built it like a fence, so um, I cut in the pieces to to fit in, and I used various size of balsa, you know, a little bit bigger for the beams and um, then the slats, and then still bigger for the uh, the fence posts themselves. So hopefully you guys are, uh, you know, thinking that it looks like a fence. Uh, that's that's all it really needs to uh, to be, and. Uh, I use this, uh, this this thin material here, and I just use a wire brush to come in and put some even more grain in there. So it will hopefully pick up the inks uh, quite well. So that's uh, that portion there, and then here's the uh, the gate that's going to go on the short side. So I've put a little latch on the gate there, and I sort of rounded the balsa to uh, to give it a uh, you know a little bit of stylation or style. Sorry. Um, and then on the back, I just, uh, you know, did the support beam and, and put in some hinges there. So, um, let me know what you guys think and, uh, and, um, yeah, I'll just, you know, read the comments and, you know, I can always improve. Uh, this is being my first one. So it was, uh, it was a bit time consuming and, um, just trying to make it look right and, you know, not be too over the top, but at the same time, you know, put some character um, you know, kind of give it a little bit of a narrative uh, in terms of, uh, you know, why it's so beaten, battered, and, you know, some bullet holes maybe, and, you know, some good portions where uh, it has seen some uh, better days kind of thing. So, and uh, again, same thing around the uh, around the gate and stuff. So um, it was fun to do. It was kind of a neat uh, little uh, project, and, and that's just one of uh, many aspects of the table, or sorry, of the diorama still left to go. So, but uh, this is now out of the way, and you know, scratch building does take a while, as I've come to realize. And um, in order to do it right, I guess you uh, you wanted to put some time into it. To it. So, uh, while I was looking around and digging through my bits and bops, I uh, 
discovered that I had a couple of these wells, so I think I'll I'll stick one of these wells inside of the uh, Courtyard 2 to give it a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of, of character. So, and I think uh, there's a bolt action guy here. I think um, scale wise, I think that'll uh, that'll work pretty. Uh, pretty nicely so that is just another little feature I thought I'd throw in so um, so stay tuned guys and more videos to come and uh, I'm gonna get uh, painting up that uh, that damp earth and then uh, hopefully I'll come back and uh, show you what that looks like and maybe some more uh, progress on the board so thanks for watching see you in the next video cheers